I'm pretty sure there's already a hashtag to be used here. I mean, like, it starts with an F and it ends with an I. That ring any bells? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down the top five dumbest things we found in Metal Gear Survive. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. If you're subscribed to our Mojo Plays channel, then you already know we've given our full review on this game. But if you need a little refresher, this is what we said. I guess the name change is appropriate. Metal Gear is a series that used to be solid, but now it's just trying to survive. So for this list, we're analyzing some of the moments in this game that made us go, like, wow, really? Some of these points did already pop up in our review, while others do go into a minor bit of spoiler territory, but you know, screw it. What's that supposed to mean? Number five to one, this game exists. Well, that's it, that's all you really need to know. Be sure to subscribe and check out our other great clips and then the, Ah, <sighs> okay, we're kidding. Number five, the nurse says that there's a cure for decapitation. Thank you, that helped. One of the earliest allies you meet in the game is Miranda, a nurse that works in the hospital in Cyprus at the start of the Phantom Pain. Though we do have to question her credentials given her medical theories. Early in the game, Miranda hypothesizes that it may be possible to cure the wanderers and return them to human form, even though they're missing the top half of their heads and most of their brains. You're sure about that? You guys don't look like doctors to me. Maybe a team of specialists could- If anyone could have done something about this, this place would still be standing, wouldn't it? Maybe they just lack certain advances in medicine. Sure, the captain has his arm restored due to his infection with the Dread Dust nanomachines, but there's really no way Miranda could know such things exist since she comes from the 1980s. I mean, okay, the story has time travel, just go with it, all right? Even then, how would restoring a whole brain from nothing even be possible? She's like a nurse, not a wizard. You have the section's medical technology to thank for your recovery. The arm? Ah, yes, a personal matter. Number four, just run, you f***ing idiot! Hurry to the dock. Under the circumstances, returning home through the wormhole is the optimum escape route. In a later part of the game, the crew opens up a wormhole above the ruins of Mother Base, to which the behemoth known as the Lord of Dust slowly moves towards the portal. While everyone else runs as fast as they can towards the portal, the captain, carrying a wheelchair-bound Chris on his back, proceeds to head up the first flight of stairs and then stomps to just sort of, like, stare at the monster for like a good frickin' minute. Captain, you must hurry. Yo, uh, Captain, do Virgil's words of you must hurry not mean anything to you? Just move! Run! Make haste! Run away! It's not even the first time you saw that thing. Why are you being awestruck now? What is that? It doesn't match anything in my database. Number three, crouching uses stamina. You should rest before you're out of gas. I'm sure you've heard from other sites by now how low your stamina gauge is. And well, they're right. Your stamina is ridiculously low in this game. The only movement that doesn't use up stamina is walking, so it makes sense that when you run or crawl across the ground in a prone position, that drains a bit of stamina. Not so much sense when you're walking slowly in a crouched position, i.e. the position you move in to go stealth. You're using stamina to move at a slower speed than walking. Who the hell even made this game? All right. Number two, please sir, I need to eat another bear. We get it, hunger and thirst meters are staples of survival games, but can we first just acknowledge how ridiculously fast these meters deplete in this game? This wouldn't be so much of a problem if it weren't for the fact that your character seems to have the stomach made out of Doctor Who's TARDIS. Take a brown bear, for example, an animal that's much larger than you. You could feed an entire orphanage with that thing. Yet, when you cook its meat, it only fills up one third of your stomach. Sure, the player can't take the entire bear back to camp, but why not just take a bit more meat? I mean, you got plenty of room. More? Number one, paying 10 bucks for an extra save slot. This is just ridiculous and insulting. Why would Konami even do this, aside from the obvious? Knowing full well how bad their reputation is with the gaming public already. But you wanna know what's the worst about this? It's a feature you don't even need. All you need to do to start up another save without losing your current one, at least in the PlayStation 4 version, is simply to start up a game on a second profile. That's it. It doesn't even need a PlayStation Plus subscription. So it means that Konami is charging players for a service they already have access to, technically. Wow, Konami, you really did earn that infamous hashtag now, didn't you? Captain! 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 It's 
It's all over. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.